Want to set up your village in the perfect location? Then you're in the right place. In this video, we're diving into and rating the 10 most strategic and resource-rich locations in Medieval Dynasty. Whether you're looking for vast plains, breathtaking views, or rich resource spots, I've got you covered. So here are 10 locations to build in Medieval Dynasty. Starting with Southwest of Gestovia. This location is pretty easy to get to considering it's where you spawn at the start of the game. Instead of taking the road to the right toward Gestovia, take a left and you will find a good open and flat area to build, which means good farmland. This area is the centermost location on the map. It's near a cave and near Gestovia, which is one of the better cities to live near. You may have to run a bit to get reeds, clay, and water, but otherwise, it's a great choice. I'd rate this area a 3 out of 5. Next location is a bit out of the way, but very unique, and that's north of Baranica. The reason I say this area is unique is because you're pretty much living on the edge of the map. However, you can build very close up to Baranica, which gives you good access to vendors and the wagoner. But most importantly, you have close access to straw, clay, and a mine. Probably the best area in terms of resources. The main downsides are that you don't have a great source of water, so if you want a fishing hut, you're likely going to have to build it out of the way. The good news is you have a creek, so you're not completely devoid of water. I'd rate this area a 4 out of 5. Next location, we're going down south to this lone lake shaped like a heart. This beautiful and secluded area has a good access to water, reeds, and a mine. The main downsides are the absence of clay and a nearby wagoner, as Hornica and Jezerka may be a bit of a walk away until you obtain a mount. While there is flat land in the area, it's few and far between, but farming is possible in this area, though there are better places to farm. For that, I would rate this area a 3 out of 5. Next location is east of Barowo. Unlike the last location, you have two cities relatively close by, along with reeds and a good source of water. The biggest issues would be the mine's distance. Clay deposits aren't too far off, but they could be closer. On top of that, there isn't much flat area as I would hope, but this location isn't a bad choice. I would also give this area a 3 out of 5. Our fifth location is a popular starting area, west of Gestovia, which is where I often like to build. It's not the flattest area, so you may not have a huge farm, but with easy access to clay, reeds, water, and Gestovia's Wagoner, I'd argue it's one of, if not the best starting location in the game. You will have to go a bit out of your way to mine, but the mine isn't very far whether you want to go to the mine south of the mountain or the mine north of Baranica. With all that in mind, I would give this area a 5 out of 5. Fun fact, did you know this entire valley is owned by the king? So you know what that means. I would really appreciate if you paid the king's tax of one like or one sub. Next location we'll talk about is south of Lesnica. Here you will have a good amount of flat land and easy access to mines and clay. You may have to build a fishing hut away from your village, but you will have fair access to a water source. The downsides are the straw location and the distance between your village and other towns, with Lesnica being the closest village nearby. With that, I'd rate this location a 3 out of 5. If you're looking for the most amount of flat land, Northeast Denica is the option for you. This is another popular location as it's pretty close to the middle of the map, giving you easy access to most of the valley. Mines and clay are sparse in the area, but the location's placement on the map is hard to beat, and you have a wagoner close by in Denica. This location is a 4 out of 5. Staying near Denica, let's talk about southeast of Denica, specifically this lake right here. There's a lot of areas in this location where you can start your village. You have two mines nearby, clay, a whole lake to yourself with straws on the east side, and a flat piece of land to your west. On top of that, Denica is not too far, meaning you have access to vendors and a wagoner. In my opinion, this is a solid 5 out of 5 location. Next is the lake east of Hornica. You've got clay, a very close mine, water, and Hornica nearby, which is one of the better villages in my opinion due to all the vendors. Unfortunately, you won't find straw at this lake, but there are some reeds in a nearby creek. I would rate this area a 4 out of 5. And last, but certainly not least, south of Baranica. This area will require a bit of logging, but you have fair access to every resource you can need here. Wood obviously, but also reeds, clay, a mine not too far north, and Baranica close by. You also have a good water source, flat land, and you're in the center of the map. If you put work into this area, this may possibly be the best location to build your village in the valley. There may be a few rocks around which may prevent you from building in certain parts, which is my only downside really, but you should be able to manage building around them. Easy 5 out of 5 area. Did I miss a location you think is also great to live in? Leave a comment and let me know. 
And be sure to check out this video right here to make good money to fund your next village building project. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.